please stand. gives me great joy and it's a great honor for me to welcome you here today for the marriage ceremony uniting the lives of Alexa Hansen and Lucas Evenson. We begin today as a, our service today is a worship service celebrating the love that God has found and in these two people and has found in all of us as well. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, also with, with you. Lucas and Alexa have come to make their marriage vows in the presence of God and of this assembly. The uniting of this man and this woman in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort they give one another in prosperity and adversity, and that their love may be a blessing to all who they encounter. Let us now witness their promises to each other and surround them with our prayers, giving thanks to God for the gift of marriage and asking God's blessing upon them, that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in the love of God. Lucas, will you have Alexa as your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage, will you promise to love and honor her in true devotion, to rejoice with her in times of gladness, to grieve with her in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. Alexa, will you have Lucas as your husband to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you promise to love and honor him in true devotion, to rejoice with him in times of gladness, to grieve with him in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. Will you, the families of Alexa and Lucas, will you give your love and blessing to this new family? If so, answer, we will. we will. And now for all of you gathered here, families and friends of Alexa and Lucas, will you support and care for them? Will you sustain and pray for them in times of trouble? Give thanks with them in times of joy? Honor the bonds of their covenant and affirm the love of God? reflected in their life together? If so, answer, we will. We will. Let us pray. Gracious God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to reveal your love to all people. Enrich Lucas and Alexa with every good gift that their life together may show forth your love and grant that at the last we may all celebrate with Christ the marriage feast that has no end. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will have our readings. first reading is from Romans chapter 12 verses 9 through 21. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. 
be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The second reading is from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. First of all, Alexa, Lucas, I have to say it has been such a privilege getting to know you these last several months, both of you. And it's an honor to take part in your wedding today, so thank you. As I've gotten to know you, I've been amazed with the communication and the hard work, very hard work, <laughs> with the patience and the care that you've had when working together on planning this wedding, many months of planning. <laughs> I have no doubt that if you continue to treat one another with the same care, patience, with hard work and communication, a wonderful life together awaits both of you. I have to say I especially love your choice today of having a unity tree ceremony as part of the wedding. Did you know that in the book of Matthew, Jesus tells a parable about a tree? In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus has a parable in which he uses a tree as an example of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is like a small mustard seed. He explains the mustard seed was one of the smallest seeds you could plant. But then when it grows, it grows to be one of the largest plants in the garden. And its branches provide places for all of the birds to perch and rest. In many ways, your marriage today is symbolized by this tree before us and also by the tree that Jesus talks about. First of all, you're a lot like the branches. Any idea how? <laughs> you look like you don't believe me. <laughs> well, just go with me on this. 
First of all, your careers remind me of the branches of a tree. The careers that you both have chosen. Through the branches, a tree gives the birds of the airs. The birds of the air a place to rest, a place of comfort, a place of safety, a place of shelter, right? Right. And Lucas, your job of dealing with furnaces and thermostats, right? <laughs> and some other things I don't totally understand. But that job actually reminds me of the branches of a tree. In that your job, in your job, you help people to have a place of safety and comfort, a place of shelter, a place in which they can rest comfortably. And branches, the branches of a tree also, have the purpose of bearing forth good fruit. And Alexa, you can guess where I'm going with this, <laughs> your career in gerontology and nutrition, your career is all about bearing forth good fruit to nourish the people of this earth. You've both chosen jobs that bring comfort and nourishment to others. Like the branches. You see, I'm not totally crazy. <laughs> but today, today is different. Today you become different types of branches. As you commit yourselves and your lives to one another, you're promising to be one another's branches. Today you are promising to be a place of comfort and safety, a place of shelter and rest for one another at all times. You're, play, you're agreeing and promising to be a place of nourishment, where you will nurture one another on your journey together. In the reading you chose in Romans that we heard today, it talks about how we are called to rejoice with one another and weep with one another, to contribute to the needs of others and extend hospitality to strangers. These verses are all about how today you're promising that you will always be there to rejoice with one another, to weep with one another, and that you'll not only extend your branches, your arms, to support each other, but also to help those that are in need in this world. Moving down from the branches, oh yes, this metaphor keeps going, <laughs> you get to the trunk, the trunk of the tree. It's what it gives the tree its strength and support. The trunk of your marriage is what will support your marriage, what will help it to keep growing and reaching new and greater heights every day. The trunk of your marriage is all of the qualities mentioned in the Bible passages today that you chose. Forgiveness, patience, humility and compassion, hope, kindness, and above all, love. The trunk of your marriage, the core of your marriage, will be the love that you have for one another. Colossians 3, that was read, states, Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together. Your love for one another and the love of your family and friends that are gathered here around you, that is what will support you in the days and years to come. Love will carry you through the many, many seasons of your marriage, and it will give you the strength to keep growing together, united as one. And now for the roots. <laughs> Just as the tree that Jesus spoke about and your unity tree today, just as those trees need roots to ground them, your marriage, too, must have roots. To help illustrate what will root your marriage, I did a little research on your names. <laughs> Evanson and Hanson. <laughs> did you know that both of your names come from the same root word? Maybe? It's true. So both of your names, um, as you would guess, son of Evan, son of Han or Hans, um, they both come from a root word that is in Hebrew. Evan and Han 
come from the Hebrew word Yohanan, and it's in the Bible. And this Hebrew word Yohanan means God is gracious. And it's the source of both of your names. So both of your names, Hansen and Evenson, the names which you grew up with, those names are rooted in God's grace, just as your marriage is, and that the name that you will have joined and chosen together will be. Today, you ended your readings with Colossians 3.17. It says, Whatever you do, do everything in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God. As you grow together and deepen the roots of your faith, may you always remember that God's grace, the grace that gave birth to your names, that grace will uphold, root, and sustain you. My prayer today for both of you is that your roots in God's grace will grow deeper each day, that the trunk, the core, the love of your marriage will grow strong and supportive, and that your branches will intertwine together, comforting and caring for one another. Lucas and Alexa, may the seed of your marriage planted today, may it grow to be a beautiful tree, a tree that brings a glimpse of the kingdom of God here to earth. Amen. Now, Lucas and Alexa, I invite you to declare your vows to one another. Lucas, repeat after me, please. I take you, Alexa, to be my wife from this day forward to join with you and share all that is to come. And I promise to be faithful to you until death parts us. Alexa, repeat after me, please. I take you, Lucas, to be my husband from this day forward to join with you and share all that is to come. And I promise to be faithful to you until death parts us. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God of grace, for your love and faithfulness to your people. May these rings be symbols of the promise that Lucas and Alexa have made to each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Lucas, repeat after me. Alexa, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Alexa, repeat after me, please. Lucas, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Alexa and Lucas, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Amen. The unity tree. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or no? Will I stand in your presence? To my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? I can only imagine. I 
can only imagine I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side I can only imagine what my is before me I can only imagine surrounded by your glory what will my heart feel will I dance for you Jesus or in all of you be still will I stand presence to my knees will I fall will I sing hallelujah will I be able to speak it all I can only imagine I can only imagine I can only Now for the marriage blessing. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother and to endure the cross for our sake, that we may have abundant life. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing on Lucas and Alexa. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let your love be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle above their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them. Bless them so that their lives together may bear witness to your love. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, and in their life, and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, O Lord, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. At this time, we will offer up prayers on behalf of the community. After each prayer petition, I will say, Gracious and faithful God, and I invite you to respond, Hear our prayer. Let us pray. On this day of rejoicing, let us bless God for divine love embodied in Jesus Christ. We praise you, O God, for the joy that Lucas and Alexa have found in each other, and we pray that their love and faithfulness may reflect your gracious love and enrich our common life. Gracious and faithful God, hear Hear our prayer. prayer. Give them gentleness and patience, affection and understanding, readiness to trust one another, and when they hurt each other, give them grace to acknowledge their fault and to give and receive forgiveness. Gracious and faithful God, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. 
Use us, O oh Lord, to support Alexa and Lucas in their lives together. Give us such a sense of your constant love that we may employ all of our strength in a life of praise to you. Gracious and faithful God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Strengthen and bless friends and family gathered here, even as we call to mind those who are absent from us. Console those who mourn the loss of loved ones, and be present with those for whom love is a stranger. Gracious and faithful God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Look graciously on the world you have made and for which your son gave his life. Strengthen marriages, families, and communities everywhere. Defend and guide all who suffer want or anxiety. Gracious and faithful God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We give thanks to you, merciful God, for those who also have died. Strengthen us by the example of the saints and bring us all to the marriage feast of the Lamb. Gracious and faithful God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Most gracious God, you have made us in your image and given us over to one another's care. Hear the prayers of your people, that unity may overcome division, hope vanquish despair, and joy conquer sorrow. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now I invite you all to join as we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now may Almighty God send you light and truth to keep you all the days of your life. The hand of God protect you, the holy angels accompany you, and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. It is my pleasure to present to you all Lucas and Alexa, husband and wife.
Congratulations. Congrats. That's all I got.